What's up everyone and welcome back to the comps channel. This is just going to be a quick video to announce something that's going on with the International Space Station that I think is pretty cool and encourage you to give it a shot. Especially if you picked up one of the VGC radios I recently did a video on if you're familiar with that. You may also notice that there's also a BTEC version of this radio in the video here. I'll be doing a video on this radio soon but it's essentially the same thing with some minor differences. In the meantime, I'll leave my affiliate link in the video description if you want to check that out. But back to the space station and what they're doing. They just started today, uh, a few hours ago actually, as I'm recording this. And what they're doing, they'll be doing SSTV experiments, which stands for slow scan television. And this is a way to send pictures via ham radio. They'll be doing this until October 14th around 10 a.m. Eastern. So there's plenty of opportunity to see if you can receive these images while the space station is flying over. We'll get into how to know when it's flying over in a bit, but if you remember my video review of the VGC radio, the app it uses is able to receive images using SSTV, and you should be able to receive these images using that radio. The BTEC radio I'm doing a review on also uses the same app, so this should work with that radio as well. Now, if you already have a different radio, you can also download an app called Robot 36 for Android and just hold your phone up to the radio speaker to decode the pictures as well. Now, I'm not sure how well the stock antenna will work for this, but we'll give it a try and see if it does. And I've also upgraded the antenna on my VGC radio that we can try and see if that works any better. Now, the best antenna for this, though, would be a handheld Yagi pointed up at the space station as it's flying over, which we can give that a shot, too. But first, we need to know when it's going to be flying over, and the HT app for the VGC radios can do this, but there's a number of other ways to do this, and my favorite is an app called ISS Detector, and this is available for both Android and Apple devices. Now, the app defaults are focused on visible passes of the International Space Station, and there are certain times around dusk and dawn that the space station can be seen flying over with the naked eye, which is what the default settings are for. Now, we can go in and turn that off, however, so we can see when it'll be flying over when it isn't visible as well. To do that, we'll tap on this filter button on the top right, then we can see there's a toggle switch for only invisible passes that's turned on, so let's go ahead and flip that off. Then we can also turn off some of these other things we're not worried about right now, like the Chinese space stations, Starlink, comets, and planets and moon. So with that done, let's go ahead and hit back, and we can see all of the times that the ISS is going to be overhead, and there's a few things you'll want to look at. First is the time, of course, and we can see that the next pass in my area starts at 414 and ends at 418. The next thing we'll want to look at is the elevation above the horizon the pass is going to be, which in my case is 17 degrees, which, which is a bit iffy, but I'll still give it a try. If it's 10 degrees or lower, I wouldn't bother trying. And the best passes are going to be 90 degree passes, which means it's flying directly overhead. So the closer this number is to 90, the better, and we can see here there's a 54 degree pass starting at 550 and ending at 556, so that one should be better. Now ideally, you'll want to have a view of the sky with no obstructions, so if this isn't the case for your location, you may want to try a park or another area with a clear view of the sky. Now that we know what time we need to head outside, let's get the decoding app ready. And if you're not using the VGC or BTEC radio I mentioned earlier, you'll need to download an Android app called Robot 36. This one isn't available for Apple, but there is an app called SSTV Slow Scan TV available for Apple. I've not used this myself, so I can't really speak on it though. Now the Robot 36 app is pretty easy to use. You pretty much just open up the app, hold your radio to the phone's microphone when you're receiving a signal, and it'll auto select the mode for you. Now in this case, we already know that the PD120 mode is being used based on the info they posted. So we can go in and set that by tapping the hamburger menu on the top right, then select lock mode, then PD, and then select PD120. Now if you're using the VGC or BTEC radio, you can open up the HT app, tap on the chat bubble on the center right here, and the pictures should just show up there when you receive a signal. 
you will notice that the radio mutes itself and this is normal and it's, it's just doing this so you don't have to listen to the digital noises. And all that's left now is to set your radio to the frequency which is 145.8. Wait for it to fly over and head outside and try it out. Now when you're working with satellites or the space station there is something called Doppler shift where the frequency changes as it's passing. Sort of like how the sound of an ambulance or police siren changes when it's going past. Now this isn't as much of a concern on two meters, so I wouldn't worry about that for right now and we'll get into more on Doppler shift later. This video wasn't finished editing before the first pass and I went to try it out and figured I'd include the results here. Now this was the 17 degree pass which I was a bit iffy on but I was able to pick up a signal. It wasn't strong enough to get a good decode but as we can see here we do see this was picture 8 out of the 12 that they're transmitting and we can kind of see some sort of logo on the top right. Now I was using the VGC radio with the upgraded antenna for this but also tried the BTEC with the stock antenna and I was able to pick up a little bit of a signal but not nearly as strong as the upgraded antenna. Now I do recommend setting the radio squelch to open to make sure you don't have any breaks in the signal while doing this. This next pass coming up at 550 should be better since it's a 54 degree pass so I'm looking forward to trying that one out. All right, here we are the next day and a few passes later, and I'm not sure what happened during the 550 pass. It was a much stronger signal, but no image was decoded. Now, I suspect that my advice on leaving the squelch open may be bad advice as far as the HT app is concerned. I, I think it may need a strong enough signal to break the squelch for the app to work. Now leaving the squelch open is good advice in general if using other apps though and I have some more passes coming up that I can test with including a 78 degree pass around 5 p.m. Now I'll be able to see what works and what doesn't and in terms of the HT app and then I'll report back. Until then though I recommend using one of the other apps I mentioned and leaving the squelch open and just hold the radio up to your phone while you do that. Now if you're new to radio and not sure what I mean by this or what squelch is, a radio squelch is what sets how strong a signal needs to be before the radio unmutes. So setting a high squelch will tell your radio to only unmute for really strong signals and setting a low squelch will unmute for weaker signals. Now in our case here with working with the space station, there'll be times when the signal's very weak so it's recommended to leave the squelch open, which means to just completely unmute the radio and pick up everything. And to do that with the VGC radio we have here, you can do that directly on the radio using the radio's settings or the app by going to the hamburger menu on the top left, then select the gear cog, then you'll see a selection for squelch level. But that'll do it for this video though, and if you do give it a try and you're part of our Discord server, be sure to share your images there. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thank you all and have a good one.